looking at it now, why did you decide to put this together in the first place? To showcase our rich culture mm. and change the narrative of the Niger Delta people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we reach for culture. Yes, sir. It's not only about oil and gas and you know small time they say we can chaka chaka chaka. You know. Okay, so as it is now, this uh, this your this your narrative where you talk say the white people came here to get Natural. this tap dance yes. from here. Google why, it. Why 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 did you? throw that out there in the first place? Oh, no, because that's what it is. Okay. Um, when you check the history of the mm. tap dance, yes. you go know Juba. Okay. Juba is a form when they took it from um, the jazz rhythm. Okay. Right? I mean, they go tell you, say, now nah, migration people from Ireland. From Ireland. Not for where? Yeah. How? Hmm. When they carry us go cutting, cutting now like this now, they don't get the So then go collect the shoe horn, or rather the metal where they take those shoe, shoe uh, sole yeah. of the horse. horse shoes, yeah. Now they can't take puts. So when they, they do the thing, if you notice, the, the tap dancer dances to a particular rhythm, yes, which is from the orchestra or somewhere. Yes. Yeah, the same thing applies to the masquerade. Mm. And oral tradition don't shows them way, way, way back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they are with them day before they carry us go. Mm. So how they take us up here? I think um, for me, yes. one of the important aspects of this particular play mm. is that it is promoting our culture because I think a lot of our millennials yes. don't they know don't the know culture anymore. Yes. They don't see. Did you see the richness <laughs> of the of the costumes? Yeah. You know the, the the vibrancy of the music. Yeah. So I mean that was one of the things, and I think that was one of the reasons why. You know, a lot of people got involved and really encouraged this yeah. coming out there. And you saw the different aspect, you know, from the young well, girl to yeah, those yeah. in that went to the fucking <laughs> room, do you understand? And came yes. out. And I mean, it's so beautiful. I mean, I don't know my, I don't know my culture as well as I should. Mm. Of course, I'm not Rivers or yeah. whatever, but when I saw that, you know, I was intrigued. Was I felt amazing. the melody of the music, yes. do you understand? And when I closed my eyes, I could feel like some of the Western music. You know? You the know, interpretation yeah, of, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, it was just beautiful. There's so much richness in our culture. We need to look back into our cultural heritage to actually define and redefine who we are. It's it's wonderful, it's spectacular what we're watching today. Everyone who sat around me had goose pimples. What that thing open? Man, we couldn't believe it. I was transported within this period back to my village. Well, I happen to come from Delta State, so I'm familiar with this kind of display. And I saw a replica of what I see back home. And it's wonderful. I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed myself. <laughs> The people of rivers are blessed. Nature loves them. Their men are handsome. And their women I love the fact that it's very um, cultural. Okay. Costumes are amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's pure adulterated culture. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really like. That is. <laughs> that's what I really like because it's not, um, it's not diluted. The Seki dance, particularly, is a potpourri. It's a mixture of some of those dances from people of the lower Niger Delta. Um, it is wonderful. It goes to show our rich cultural heritage. Um, it's our pride. It's something that we pride about. It's something that we are happy for. It's our identity. <laughs>
to enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.